WA's respiratory experts are calling on state and federal governments to act now to prevent artificial stone bench tops becoming another public health crisis. It's as the world stopped to honour workers killed in accidents or from sickness linked to the workplace. A day to remember the workers who never made it home. Wreaths laid at Solidarity Park as the nation and world reflect on lives lost on shift. Everybody has a right in their families to think that their loved ones will come home as normal from work every day. So far this year, 36 Australians have been killed in the workplace. The focus today also on those given a death sentence exposed to a dangerous dust. We were dealing now with a product called engineered stone, which is over 90% silica, and that is just devastating to our lungs. Labelled the new asbestos, as many as one in four stonemasons who work with artificial stone bench tops will contract silicosis, an untreatable lung disease. It gradually causes scarring in the lungs. Um, uh, it's the body's response to the dust. Uh, and as you say, there's no treatment. More than 500 Australians are known to be living with the often fatal disease. Many of them were diagnosed in the past three years. As the federal government examines a ban on the deadly product, respiratory experts say authorities need to prepare now to eliminate the risk to tradies and homeowners when bench tops are inevitably ripped out in decades to come. The latest statistics show us the highest incidence of asbestos diseases are now in women non-occupational exposed from home renovations. I would like to see a publicly funded free at the point of access screening program which is very simple and not particularly expensive that would encourage people to come forward and then we can really make sure that workers in WA are safe. Cindy Lebrenchik for 10 News First.